you hear me now? Can you hear me now? That is so weird. Um, the bar is literally showing me that I'm talking. And yet you guys can't hear me. That's so weird. I literally just went into the settings and like went into what mic I'm using. Set it to disabled and set it back to my mic and now it works. Can you hear the music? That's my next question. Can you hear the music? You can hear the music. Okay, well, at least that worked this time, but for some reason my mic didn't work. It's stupid. I guess it doesn't like my mic. Um, but yeah, the bar was showing that it was working, so I had no way of knowing. I guess every time I just got to do that to make sure that it works, which is kind of frustrating. Um, so yeah, that's, that's two times now that the mic hasn't been working when I start streaming. That's nice. Um, anyways, so let me re-say what I was saying. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Another rough start. Today, we are going to be modeling the first melee weapon, uh, which is probably just, I, mean, I already have a, a concept image. I'm just going to model a, a combat knife. Because the next thing that I want to add, the next item type I want to add is a melee item type. And so I just want to model to be able to test it with. Even though it probably won't be used much because it'll be more used just for a meme kill, I guess. And then maybe if we have a knife only game mode. Mike fix pog. Yes, it is pog. Anyways, also I was saying the chat is green today. Uh, I don't know why. It's all green today. It's the color of the day. It's supposed to be multicolored, but it only works with Twitch, I guess, where it's multicolored to YouTube. It doesn't like it. Crambit. Yeah, I think there'll definitely be like different types of uh, melee weapons for sure. But for now, we're just gonna make a, a random, uh, a general combat knife. You hate green? Yeah, I don't really like green either. It kind of looks like snot. <laughs> Although trees are green, the grass is green. Oh wait, Tom's here. Wait, t I take that back. Tom likes green. <laughs> A sword isn't a waste of time. Yeah, a sword would be cool too. Thumbnail is pixelated, says Tom. That's weird. Hmm. That's a YouTube issue. Kind of looks cool. But that's a YouTube issue. I uploaded the full uh, res uh, thumbnail. That's weird. Anyways. Add abilities to the melee weapon. That's getting that's getting kind of complicated. Anyways, let's uh, let's switch over to here. Oh, my camera's not on. Nice. There we go. Now I'm here. I'm I'm down here, right? Yeah, I'm down here. Uh, let's actually just look at the what the lobby's looking like right now. If you guys haven't been following in my Discord server, I was working on making the lobby look better and more usable more space for people to walk around because the uh, last time we play tested there was like 20 people crammed in a little box which was kind of claustrophobic Should probably start the server too i am going to use blender yeah we're just checking out the lobby first before we get into modeling. I usually tend to just show off what I've worked on on stream as well. So you don't have to wait to the next update video. Where's the server? Server no work. It's weird. Oh, well, Unity is slow today. There we go. Shut up now. Maximize. So yeah.
Here is the lobby. It's looking a lot bigger. I'm going for kind of like a, a abandoned ruin type feel. Also just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, there's like a tree growing out the middle. Uh, and I'm working on it, but not, I just started, I just started modeling these vines that uh, I'm obviously going to put way more and uh, make them more sparse. Um, yeah, also, I guess you can see the client side prediction working right now. It's pretty smooth. Yeah, I was starting to just try out making some parkour here. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy. You can jump even all the way over here. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I circle around the. Yeah, I'm gonna add like cracks and stuff. And. A dirt patch probably around there to make it more make more sense but i'm going to add also some cracks i think like in the stone to make it look more like a ruin i uh, haven't got too long but wanted to say hi hey saul uh, how's it going that's okay glad to see you here i like the tree sway yeah yeah so that's just uh, some like a vertex uh sway shader yeah, I really like it. The pine trees have it too, but it's a lot more subtle. And also the the vine leaves have it as well. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Did you try a normal and ambient inclusion map I mentioned on Discord? Um, well, it's low poly, so a normal map doesn't really make sense. And ambient occlusion, uh, I have the, uh, the URP ambient occlusion. You can see it kind of the effect right there it's very subtle but it, it adds a little bit more depth makes it a little bit more 3d looking yeah and i guess then the main like the main feature of the lobby is also kind of at least first a first iteration of it and i gotta think about how i'm gonna do this because the more game modes there are and the more maps there are the more space we're gonna need to like show these so they're either gonna have to get smaller in this area or I'm gonna have to make them the map somehow dynamic and like grow in one direction or something depending on how many there are. But for now, this works. Um, and I think this area can hold at least six probably without them being too small. So it'll be good enough for now. But yeah, you can see I can like highlight over them and I can like click to, to vote that. This is basically just a, like a map voting system. So I want to vote that the map is going to be valley, and I want to vote that the game mode is going to be uh, capture the flag. And then if it's in auto start mode, then it'll basically just see go based on the highest vote. Obviously, there's just me right now, but capture the flag, deathmatch, capture the flag. Yeah. So now basically we have pretty much everything we need to. Uh, to just turn on the server put it in auto mode and every 30 seconds it'll start a game and people that are playing the game can vote what they want to play type of thing and obviously you'll be able to change the uh the amount of time in the lobby and stuff like that in the server settings three random ones for the next round uh are you talking about like game modes or maps yeah oh that's a good idea like only show three yeah i see what you mean i see what you mean that's a good idea that's a good idea play Add Vinette. Um, I don't know about Vinette. It's, I don't know if it's it's very good for like a normal FPS game. The stream's probably lagging right now on this map. My computer's not good enough. I can also feel the client side prediction stuttering on this map. Probably because I'm streaming. We're gonna get off this map because it's laggy on stream. Lobby, lobby. What if no one votes, then it picks the uh, the last played map right now, or it picks the default maps, which uh, what I'll make it do is just pick a random map and a random game mode if nobody votes. But they, they should really never not nobody vote, right? Obviously, somebody still could, so you got to account for that edge case. But sent to the void if nobody votes. Yeah, there you go. You get sent to the void. Uh... The entire journey, I haven't seen you borrow anything, not from Unity, why not? Uh, 
what not sure what you mean by that borrow you have to reiterate that qu that uh, question because I'm not sure what you mean anyways so yeah that's the lobby that's how it's going it would be cool if he only gave you two to pick from so people didn't constantly vote for the same one that's a good idea as well I think play kind of mentioned that up a little bit as well but yeah uh, showing like only two or three maps to vote from only two or three game modes to actually keep variety that's a good idea and that solves the problem like I was saying uh, you might have joined late a uh, rug but that as more game modes get added I I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them right I'm gonna have to either expand the map or shrink them here but I think what play and rug said pretty much solves that problem only show like three and that also keeps uh diversity and maybe obviously you could somehow set in the server settings to show all of them if you really want to but what's the game called good question it's called the unnamed multiplayer game right now and i'm not really in that much of a rush to, to figure out a name and i'm not very good with names so but uh feel free to leave suggestions on the discord and but don't don't no hate if i don't like it because i, well, I don't like a lot of things a lot of names it's hard for me to choose assets from the asset store is what he means you think play um so why don't i use assets i don't know i think it's kind of cool to make it yourself especially the models because otherwise it'll start looking like other people's games especially with this art, art style low poly it's pretty easy to spot a model that's made by uh, i don't know what that that asset company is that makes like a lot of low poly models on the asset store but yeah. And I like modeling as well. It gives me a reason to stream, right? Gives us a reason to, to do these streams. And also for assets, I am using uh, some assets. I'm using a billboard asset from somebody because I that was too advanced for me to program and I didn't really want to spend the time on it. Yep, exactly what Rug said. That's basically it. Originality? Sure, yeah. The low play style isn't really original, but it's got my own kind of style to it. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see here, where you just popped open Blender, let me turn off the server so we're not getting any lag. And yeah, you see, I already brought in a, a simple concept image here, reference image for an, uh, just a combat knife. Probably won't take me too long to model. And it's going to be low poly, so it's going to be pretty simple, right? Hello, Shane plays. Not sure if I said your name right. Was there ever a bug that you ended up keeping in the game? You mean like a, a feature? A bug that's really a feature? Uh, probably, I can't really think of one. Um, everybody thinks that uh, the way my hand system work is a bug where it like shifts the perspective, but I don't know, I like it. And who knows, it might get changed because a lot of people don't like it, but I guess that's a bug that's kind of a feature. Let's start with the actual blade here. Let's rename this to knife. Knife. Let's start. Remember, this is low poly, so it's going to be pretty primitive. Did I just already mess up? Yeah, I need to go in. Scale on the Y. Boop. Low poly looks sexy. I agree. I think Tom can agree. Right now, the Synthy Studio style is super overdone, and they and they dominate the low poly market. Is that the um the company that makes the low poly assets rug? I think so. That sounds about right. But yeah, a lot of people use their assets, um, and uh, a lot of people want me to use their assets too. And but I want to make my own. Right? They're good for prototyping, but you really shouldn't be releasing a game with with uh, with models that are bought uh, that aren't made specifically for your game. I just forgot how to extrude. There we go. <laughs> Pro builder screwing me up. And it gives me a reason to do a stream like this, right? Coding is cool and all, but especially in like advances a multiplayer game people just get lost if i do a coding stream i'll still do them but 
don't think they're nearly as interesting as uh, a modeling stream because I, I don't have to focus as much and I can just focus on talking to chat. One, where's the top? That's the front. That's the top. That's the top. Probably gonna want to. You know what? Undo that. Undo, 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 undo. What I want is actually a loop cut right down the middle instead, and we bring those forward. One. Bring those forward. There we go. Uh, how do you know how to use Blender? Tornado just put a link, but. Uh, I really just learned by watching YouTube videos and by messing around. Uh, yeah, YouTube tutorials. Same thing about game dev really is people ask me how I learned it and it's YouTube tutorials pretty much. Cut it this way. Now, it's actually three. Let's let's use the clone tool and or the the mirror tool. Mirror on the X. No, on the Y. There we go. Tab. Oh. I deleted the, the opposite side that I wanted, but it's okay, this will work. start off looking pretty bad but I'll get it into a decent looking state eventually what do I turn off why is this there we go. where's the front there we go Blender and dev work. Practice makes good. One thing at two says all the time. Yeah, keep practicing. Eventually you'll improve. Yeah, that's what I said. Jump in, make a model. You'll improve. It might look terrible at first, but you know, every time you model something, you, you improve a little bit. And hex, if you've seen the five years of making games in Unity video that I made, you can see all the, the games that I made and every single one I kind of improved a little bit. A lot of them are still trash games, but. Also, uh, we're at 10K subscribers. So yeah, that's awesome. And it's a big part due to that video. Um, for some reason, YouTube algorithm just loved it. So if you're a new subscriber on the stream, welcome. I was kind of uh, thinking about an idea possibly that I could do that could be like um, going through the code of my old game games that I showed off in that video to see how bad it is. I, I was thinking that might be kind of an interesting video, maybe. Uh, yeah, because I know it's pretty bad. Definitely way too fat still this night. 
I'm not sure if people would be interested in watching something like that though. It's basically roasting myself. You may have to yoink that idea. Yoink away. I'm interested in seeing people's terrible code too. 30 if statements in the in the update loop. Let's go. I hope Tom is modeling Chris skills increase. Um no comment. A mango slice? <laughs> I'm getting roasted right now. Okay. Add, add a mesh, a cube, zero, 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 one. Oh, else, what is that? Move it up, scale on the X, and scale on, oop, scale on the Y. Well, I'm just gonna continue working on my mango slice here as Tornado called it. 100% sure I'm gonna pass Tom, huh? I don't know, we'll see. The video's still getting over 10K views uh, every two days, every 48 hours, so maybe. But it's definitely slowing down, so I don't know, I don't think so. Tom thinks. It might if the video keeps going, yeah. Until you get some new tutorials out, huh? Yeah. Hurry up then. You better hurry up. I'm motivating you to, to get Riptide worked on. You're welcome, guys. I'm motivating Tom. I apply the mirror modifier? Oh wait, no, I'm just dumb. And I'm doing stuff twice. There we go. Already kind of looking like a detached knife. One. I'm not f feeling the motivation. I guess I've failed. Well, I guess I'll just have to surpass you. <laughs> See you at 20k, I'll welcome you. You feel it now? <laughs> Why you turn on clipping? Wait, what? Blade is a mango slice. You know, you know what? I, that looks pretty sharp to me. Oh wait, it's maybe a little bit too thin. I'll fix that later. Do 
Those are just thin things, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> I need... What do I need here? I need... I'm gonna need this whole thing to extrude. Uh, move these over here. Always starts off looking terrible, but it gets better the longer we go at it. Two here. There we go, that's, that's about the shape there. Now we can go 3D and make it look better. bad boys, bring these bad boys in. Definitely gonna need to be way thinner here. When is the next upload? Good question. When it's ready. No, um, it'll probably be another update video sometime in May. That's the plan. I just finished exams like three days, two days ago. So I'm now just working a day job for the summer. So I'll have a lot more time to work on the game, work on videos. So I'm hoping to get out videos more often this summer uh, and also work on the game more. So, but to answer your question, probably mid-May, hopefully, is what I've kind of got a plan in my head for, but it really depends how, how much progress I make on the game. Yep, game doesn't make itself the short story and the videos can't be made unless the games been made Looking more like a knife now. Just keep at it though. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't pin a message with my server invite link. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? I'll shout out my Discord server right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's get the link. Get the link. Get the link. Copy. Cancel. How do I do this now? Join my Discord server. And then I do this and pin message. Yeah, message has been pinned. If you're not in my Discord server, you want to see more frequent updates, I do that a lot on my Discord server. You want to be notified of the future streams or just hang out, feel free to join the Discord server. 
Link is pinned in chat. Heck yeah. Uh, Musty says, do you agree with me that Tornado Alley is actually Italian? I need an answer. Um, I can assure you he's not Italian. <laughs> Have you watched his streams? He doesn't sound Italian. So no, I don't agree with you. What is going on here? What is going on here? LM at last. Well, my vertices are all messed up, so let me just fix these quickly. Back to it in a momento. These are all good back here, though, I think. This one's good. This one good. This one good. No, that one's good. Is it this one? No, that one needs fixed. How's this one? That one's good. Village. Scale these guys on the X. Too much. Okay, we're okay. Okay. Go to the one. Let's move this guy down a bit. Let's just try and get the shape of the knife a little bit better here. Uh, I see the issue there. This guy also needs to now come down like this, I think. So you can see this is kind of like my flow. I basically kind of make something that looks about the shape and then I go around and I like just tweak vertices to, to kind of make it look a little bit better. Make sure everything kind of flows nicely. Cause you gotta remember it's a little poly so it's not perfect exactly to the exact shape of the actual thing, but it just needs to resemble the shape and look low poly. What do you use for multiplayer? I use Tom, Tom's networking solution. Link to his first version is in the description of this stream. So go check that out, it's pretty cool. It is a little bit, uh, like it's more low level networking solution. But yeah, and but I am currently using his newest version which uh, is still in the testing phase called Riptide. And you'll be able to get access to that in the future, hopefully soon. Knife is looking pretty good. It very clean. Thank you. Let's look at it here. You know, if I if I was getting chased by this, somebody holding this, I'd be going the other way. <clears throat> and since it's low pulley, that's gonna leave some like probably bad lacerations because you know knives are usually a pretty clean cut, but because it's low pulley, it's gonna be a pretty jagged cut. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Work on the blade a little bit. What do you think I could do to make it look less mango slicey tornado and play? Always love stumbling on small dev channels, working on interesting projects. Fellow Canadians, says Noel W. Hopefully I said your name right. How's it going? Fellow Canadian. Yes, I am Canadian. We are working on, well, we're working on my multiplayer game, but we're working on models for my multiplayer game, I guess. What is going on here? Why is... Oh, sorry, I'm just, what is going on here with these vertexes? Strange vertexes. 
think I need to do this bad boy. I need to put a line, let's get rid of this face. I need to fix the vertex, the, uh, what do you call it? The vertex layout here, the triangle layout. This needs to be a face and this needs to be a face. Yeah, and then the same thing here. Face. Boom. Boom and boom. That's looking a lot better. Ooh, sharp point. Let's see here. Let's move these back. It's looking good. Move this guy back. Yeah, here we go. So this part should probably be thicker. Let's see here, this oop. should be thicker. This should be a little bit thinner, I think. Not a little bit slope. Let's read the chat. Uh, what pro uh, software do you use to broadcast? Um, I'm using Streamlabs OBS, which is basically OBS with a skin and some extra features. I'm scared to release Riptide because I don't want to see it break. I've already broken it like three times for you, so you shouldn't be scared anymore. Is he still saying it looks like a mango? Look at other models. What, what kind of, then I'm gonna look at references and images in a minute. Oh, you need to leave, bye, bye Musty. Hey LS, how's it going? All right, working on a knife here. It's looking pretty good. I'm just trying to think, what is going on here? I see this, like, these faces in the middle, which are uh, bothering me why there's faces in the middle like this. Oh boy. Definitely a problem, complete faces. Okay. I think the blade is looking pretty good. I think I wanted to uh, make it a little bit thicker back here. Oop. Seven. Let's see. Make it a little bit thicker. There we go. A little bit. So it is curving inward. Also thinking this is not right here. It needs. Let's look at some references. Uh, combat knife. Combat knife. I just want to look at what it looks like in three D here. So I'm thinking we need, uh, I want to like, get a front view. Google's like, what the heck? Why is this guy searching combat knives? That one's just pure flat. Mine's like got like a palm guard and stuff though. Hmm. What's the one that I Looks like that. It's got two like guards. Can't even find the one. Oh, here it is. is this the one I did? This looks more like the one that I did. That I got. This one here. Yeah. So they got like these rivets here in a, in a hole. In the back, this one have a hole, a little one. Let's let's try those things. But also, I think I need to put. Let's just go with the knife here. Uh, I think I need to do this. I need to go like this with the knife. Not letting me knife that. Why not? Just 
just so I can kind of pull this out a little bit more. I'll have to fix that after I merge it here. But let's do it again here. Knife it from here to there to there. Enter. Just pull it out a little bit. Actually, yeah, pull it out, pull it out. Pull it down and out a little bit. Maybe. I'm gonna allow this to come in more, I think. It's this, I think that's good there. Um, pretty sure I'm using OBS. Yep, Ob OBS Studio or Streamlabs. Streamlabs OBS. Yeah. Hey, green or gamer in green. What's up? I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna stop touching it and start working on the handle here. Let's start off with. You're gonna, is it gonna let me cut this? Go to one. It's gonna let me cut this. Uh, what do I want to do here? Take in here. I want. want to see what this looks like. If I do this, enter. Actually, no, 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 no. Get out of here. We have to get out of the, the got to get out of the uh, mirror tool, I think, before I do this. I want to do one. I want to move these guys. This. I want to do this. I want to see how bad this looks, or if it looks good or not. I'll just do this, and this, and this. Let's see if this looks cool or not. One. What the heck? Why is that way over there? Oh boy. Oh, I see what I did. Crap. Undo, 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 undo. I need to get the whole thing. One. Move this over that. Move this over as well. Like that. Control R. That. See if this looks like too weird or not. Or if it looks cool. That looks cool. Maybe too high poly. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I know about alt left mouse button. Doesn't always work though. Alt. Like I didn't even click on that one, Zach. Yeah, it worked there. Yep. But when I'm in the side view, it's just as easy to box select. Thanks. <laughs> um. one as well. Let's do one more here. Maybe not this way. Get this here. Cool. I think uh, they're a little bit too deep though. So let me try and fix that. Make them a little bit less deep. Even 
know the little the the background thing has them deeper. You see, it's not following it exactly here. Actually, let's try and follow it a little bit better. Oops. Zoom a little bit less here. Could have scaled the edges. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> Control B. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, see, you could do that too. I always forget about these extra shortcuts, and I just end up doing them manually. Control B. Yeah, I need to get used to doing stuff like that. Um, zero, one. Should we put a hole in the back? I don't know. Should we? What do you guys think? Should we put a hole in the back? Like, uh, put on like a, a what do you call it? A string? I'm learning Blender. Any tips? Um, I'm not really a Blender pro, so <laughs> watch lots of tutorials. That's really my only tip. That's what I did. Do you use Unity? Yep. That's what the game is made in. Unity. See? Oops, stop. Yep, the game is made in Unity. I'm just doing modeling today, so we're mostly going to be in Blender. And a little bit in Unity, probably. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Press random things. Yeah, that's a good tip. <laughs> learn. That's how you can learn is just by doing random stuff. Really. I don't think I'm going to bother with the hole. This is looking pretty good as it is. I think. Low poly, so it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just editing one side here, aren't I? Okay, let's get uh, it into Unity and set up a texture for it. Get it textured today too. That's uh, kind of jaggedy here. Why is that so jaggedy? Oh right, I was supposed to fix or finish these guys here. Why don't I let me do that? What the heck? Will it not let me? There we go. Enter. Must have been because this was in the way. There we go, and the same up here. Okay, from there to there. Yeah, it's because everything was in the way. Okay, I'll bring that back. And let's fix the position of the placement thing to be in the middle and let's get this guy exported into actually let's uh, smart UV project it let's first get it 
UV unwrapped here. UV editor. Here we go. Yeah, we got a UV unwrapped here. Let's go into Unity and let's make a texture for it. Just I use a uh, thing, a plugin for Unity to make the texture, color palette texture. I guess what Zach is doing should be fine as long as there aren't artifacts or a lot of pulleys. That's a cool knife. Thanks, Jace. J to join Bert's. I know how to circle select. 13 months now, nice. What have you added since the last update? Uh, a lot of changes to the lobby. I've been working on client side prediction. If you watch the stream replay, I kind of showed what I've added at the beginning of the stream. Uh, let's go to textures, weapons. Yep, so we're gonna add a new one here. It's a knife. I don't I really don't think it needs it only needs four colors, I think, really. It won't even need four colors. But let's go to wind or tools, click the color, create a new texture, call it what is this knife even gonna be called? I don't know, I'm just gonna call it knife. Knife. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we want it to be, uh, what are these? I think they're, wait one sec, I need to go see what the other size of the other textures are. These ones here, properties, nope. Do I see the size here? Uh, file information, 256. Still over cold, but good. Two by two, yep. Set save location to Textures, wep oh, weapons, select folder, knife, texture, uh, weapons, yep, uh, create. There we go. Just random rainbow colors, but for now, let's set like a, just a generic blade color. Let's just do like a, a black color for the grip part. Let's just set them fully white here. And, uh oh. Oh, there is a bug with the stupid color picker of this asset. No, I literally didn't drag that long. Oh, are you seriously gonna crash because the color picker again? I want to play the game. Make sure to join the Discord server and get the playtester rolled in. Links at the top of the chat there, pinned. Is it literally crashing right now because of the stupid color picker again? Ugh. I believe it is. Task manager. This is another reason why I don't really like using other people's assets because bugs like this. I should probably go try and fix it myself, but I don't really know where to look. Um, and I've already messaged it to him twice and he doesn't seem too motivated to fix it. End task. Start Unity Hub. Yep. Okay, we're an hour in. I think after we get this knife textured, I'll do a few things on the ship map, and then, yeah, we're, we're gonna keep it short today. Uh, game client. Yep. Which 
is the vert edge. There we go, we're back. Did it save that texture? Yeah, yeah no it didn't. Shoot, tools with color. Be more careful this time, I guess. Actually, we're back. There we go. There we go. Now I can go into Blender and be like, go uh, open, go to. Knife texture open, All right? And then I can go into a material here, rename it to knife. And I can go into the node editor here, shader editor. Do an add image, image. Uh, is it texture? Oh, wait, no, add. And pick the knife texture. Then we should be able to go into back into this bad boy. Yep, it's already working. And we should be able to just do like this to texture it. There we go. Uh yeah. Maybe I'll do some, we'll do, uh, do, 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 we'll do this stuff, another texture, or its own texture, our own color, I guess, on the palette, in case we want to change the color of the grips. G. And we'll do the We'll do the entire grip as its own color as well, like the, or sorry, the guard, the palm guard or whatever this is called. Put this on its own as well. So we'll go change it in a minute. There we go. So blade has its own, this guard has its own, and the rivets here have their own, and then like the actual grip itself has its own. You can't model for the life of you. All you gotta do is you just gotta practice makes perfect. Start with something simple like low poly, watch lots of tutorials on Blender on YouTube, and you'll get it eventually. Export FBX. folder here for melee and let's just call it knife. Look at objects, apply transform, export away. Now let's see here. Let's see it here in Unity. Uh, let's just go to scene, let's go to the valley map. Start with the donut, yeah. Watch uh, what's his name's tutorial on making a donut. Just bring the Glock in here for a size comparison. Oop. And now let's bring in bottles. Uh, items, melee, knife. Whew, real big. <laughs> See, this is why we need to fix the size. Uh, knife, apply. There you go, it's better. Probably still a little big. Maybe. And 
I'll mess with the size later. I'll look at concept images to try and figure out the size. For now, I just want to get the material good on it. It's looking pretty good in engine. Just to start is the best tip. Yeah, I agree. Just start, uh, watch, find yourself a good tutorial on like a full, how to make a full basic game. Rocky says a few and just start, go for it. And watch a few tutorial series first before starting your own project so you don't get lost. Because when you start your own project, uh, you tend to get frustrated when you realize you don't know how to do some stuff, right? So getting a lot of uh, good starter tutorial projects under your belt first to learn a bunch of things is a good idea. Weapons. Create. I should just duplicate this. Let's change it to... Uh, knife mat okay and we're going to change this to uh, the knife texture and then we're going to go to the models here under melee materials we're going to go knife mat apply there we go and we're going to go to tools click to color we're going to get in our texture here and we're just gonna you can see here now I, you can see how I can edit the individual sections here eh? but we're literally just gonna go the same color here and then here we're just gonna go a little bit should we go lighter gray or darker gray Oop. okay wait I need to turn down my camera speed here get in here I think we'll go a little bit lighter gray a little bit darker there there we go looking good I think it's still a little bit too big but uh, when I actually implement the weapon I like code it and everything I'll uh, fix the scale so we got it uh, modeled we got it textured it's looking good um, yeah I would not want to get in a fight with this. Cool. Now, let's jump into just putting some little bit more work into the uh, ship map. Also, I want to do some collider placement on it, I think. Yep. Let's go over to the ship map here. Ship. Here we go. So a big problem I, I, I saw when we were testing last is this is a very good line of sight. And especially for this side, the only way out of their spawn is through down here or directly on either side here where they can basically get sniped right in the face. Um, so it's probably not a good thing. Now with the new jumping, you can actually make it up here, um, by jumping off of there. So this is another way out of their spawn. But I think I need to put some barrels here, kind of just to act as cover. I think right here would be a good place to put barrels. Yo, what's up? Not much. We're just doing some... I guess level design and modeling. Yeah. Ship map here. Uh, also, I'm just going to bring in the server project here. Ship. Um. Just looking at Discord. Um, anyways, this is the server side of the of the ship map. Obviously, there's no textures on the server, so that's why it's all purple and gray. But ship map pickups, wall collider plane. 
Now that I have client side prediction, I need colliders on both the client and the server. So, underneath the ship map prefab now, I'm gonna do the colliders on the client. But basically, um, the issue with the stairs is what I want is actually to be just a ramp for movement, but I still want these to be able to be shot through. So I think we're just gonna do some test right here, right now see if I put I think I can just put a box collider here with uh, uh, the tag uh, ignore ray cast and then you'll be able to shoot through it but you'll still be able to walk up it so we're gonna try that here but we're gonna make let's go into the ship map here we're gonna make a new uh, a new empty for uh, colliders uh, yep set and under here is where I'm gonna put all the uh, Colliders, and now because they need to be both on the client and server, they need to sync between them. Just go stare. Power component, box collider. Let's get it over here. Oop. Oop. Where is the box collider? There it is. And what are we going to need here? We're going to need, uh, I hate that this doesn't show up. Oh, is it because I have gizmos off? Oh, that's why. Okay, okay. We're going to need to get this bad boy rotated about the same here. He really needs, yeah, he only really needs to be like 0 0.1 because he's just for walking. And I think I give him the ignore ray cast layer right here. Bring him up a bit. get him extruded here on this let's bring him up let's bring him out to the middle here and let's get him scaled on the x a bit it's gonna be our test staircase two no that's too much 1.8 that's also too much i think 1.7 let's bring it down a bit here Bring in a little bit of rotation here. It looks pretty lined up. Now let's crank up that Z scale. Boom, more still. Also is in need of that final step is a lot bigger than the others, which is worrying. It should be a smooth ramp so let's give it a little bit more rotation here uh doo -doo -doo. let's read the chat here for a minute just started game dev in unity would you say game dev is more coding or more design and creating assets um i don't think it's more uh it depends on your game if you're making a game uh that's a lot less coding complicated I guess you could say then there's gonna be more asset game design but if you're making a game that requires a lot of complex logic like I don't know like a, a voxel game or a multiplayer game then you're gonna be spending a lot of time coding there's a lot of factors but for me it's probably about a 50 50 balance Making full maps like this does take a while. One suggestion I have is to make sure you have open and non-open maps. Uh, what I mean is if much close space in the game becomes a shotgun frenzy. Well, I think the ship map, um, too much space, it becomes an AR. If you have a ship, like the ship map here is more of a close combat map and the valley map that I would say is definitely an open sniper map. It might be even too open. I think I'm going to have a good variety of map sizes. I have a suggestion. You should add explosives around the map, and when you hit it, the explosives do damage. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to add, like, uh, grenades, for sure. And maybe some type of other explosive as well. Hello, the gaming dude. What's up? 
barrels, explosive barrels. That reminds me of red match. Why are you adding that to the stairs? Good question, Max. Because I want it to be a ramp for the player movement to be nice and smooth. Um, but for the actual shooting collision, it has the ignore raycast layer so that uh, the, the gun doesn't actually hit this collider. But we're about to go try it here. Let's go try it. So colliders, yeah, that's there. So now let me go, uh, I'll show you how I sync to the server here. So I go, this is a prefab here. I go prefabs, uh, maps, or is it a blind maps, ship map, right click, export package. I uncheck all the materials because I don't want the materials going to the server. The models we need, prefabs we need, textures we don't need. I just make sure I have models and prefabs. Yep, export. And then we go to the game server, the assets, prefabs, maps, uh, ship map, save, yes. And then on the game server here, we should now go to prefabs, maps, run the ship map uh, import here, import, and we should see the collider is gonna show up here. Boom, now we got the colliders on the server. Coolidge, let's go for it. Let's run the server, run the client, and see how this works. And I'll show you the difference between a stair without the collider and one with it. Basically, you got stuck on the stairs because it wasn't a nice smooth ramp. Uh, network manager, run it. Get the server on my other screen here. Come on. I just completely freaked out. There we go. Seems. Rick manager, play. Hey, fluid acid. What's up? Million environment objects about planes. You're making a game about planes. Cool. Yeah, so that's why, why I do it, Max. You're about to see why in a minute, too. Uh, would you add a spaceship map yeah i think a space map is like the next map that i'm gonna make uh, my girlfriend wants me to make a space map and i kind of want to make a space map so and then i might need to add some like zero g fighting somehow so that'll be cool yeah let's go to the map uh ship can't stay for long hey the box guy what's up that's okay i can't stream for long either less than an hour probably gonna end it um yeah we're on the ship map where's the stair this is the stairs here so let's see is it smoother to walk up now way smoother to walk up nice so see oh it kind of jumped there on the way down but see how smooth it is to walk up and go down it's going pretty slow up though it's going way faster down but slow up um but yeah, see how it's it's pretty smooth to walk up and down, right? But then over here, this one doesn't have that collider. Uh, look how like I can't even walk up it. I got I get stuck on the little stairs, like because they're all little individual colliders, right? Ugh, stuck. But now let's see. Let's give one. Let's see if my bullets go through it. it should nice clouds. Yeah, Unity particle system. Yeah, that's what they are. Uh, yeah, they're still going. Are they going through? Yeah, they're going through. We're good, I think. Yeah, they're going through. We're good. So we can still shoot through it, but when we walk on it, it's a much smoother ramp. That's cool. It should be... Uh... Oh, you know what? My uh, ramp... Uh, climbing uh, lo script logic uses raycast to detect the ramp so that's a problem that is a problem okay I'll have to think about how I'm gonna get around that I'm gonna have to tell it to not ignore nor raycast because it uses a raycast to sense that I'm on a ramp anyways are you gonna fix the gun clipping this um, I've tried it before, and basically what needs to happen is the gun needs to render on top of these objects, but it's harder than you think. 
to get it to work, and I've tried before, and it's not very high priority. Yep. I'm aware of it, but it's harder than you think to fix. You gotta get it to render before the, the world on your screen, which is... Uh, as soon as you do that, then you lose all shadows of the world, because if it renders the gun before the world, it, it's not aware of uh, what the shadows are. Anyways. Yep, that's cool. So I'm going to do that, the rest off camera. I just wanted to show the first one on camera because it's pretty boring placing those colliders. Okay, let's go back and let's place some other props. Let's place some barrels around to add more cover. Uh, stopping the server here. Ship here. Recoil this? Uh, no, there's recoil. I just am pretty good at handling it. There's definitely recoil, though. Do you use color palette, Alice's textures, or did you create a material for each color part of an object? Okay, good question. The answer is color palette method. You can see the material right here. Ship. And uh, the material is ship. The, the texture it uses looks like this, right? Oop. Texture. Texture. Uh, ship map. Ship. See, it uses one of this bad boys. And then I, I move around the UVs depending on the color. It only uses one material for the whole ship. Save some, some uh, draw calls. Mm. The game camera is fixed by another camera just for the gun and is the camera don't add the walls. What? Yeah, but like I just said, then it doesn't get the shadows and stuff from the environment. Put them in a different layer mask, yeah, but again, then they don't get the shadows from my understanding. Why do you test your game on your server? Can't you just test it locally without online and when you're done uploading it? Uh, there's two projects, right? One's the server project, one's the client project, and it's a multiplayer game, so it needs a server to run. All the logic runs through the server. There's no single player. All the logic is server side in order to prevent hacking. Take the main camera and in the culling mask, remove the weapon layer mask. Yeah, but then does your weapons have shadows on it? Once you do that from the environment, I don't think so. COD did it that way. Yeah, but then I don't think, I don't know how their lighting works and they're using their own engine. I'm not sure they might have some type of fancy way of doing it. Anyways, I'm aware of it. It's on the list, but it's not very high priority. Um, okay, what were we doing here? I'm gonna add some props here. Yep, barrels. Uh, oil drums. Control D. Let's move it all the way over here. Boom, got another barrel here. Okay. So also make uh, it more uh, visible where the uh, entrance is to underneath the uh, under the ship. Move it up, up. There we go. You know, would they normally stack barrels like this? Probably not, but you know my game to do add a third one here to make it look a little bit more supportive like, this is probably a very dangerous place to put barrels because they just fly overboard <laughs> uh 
Uh, let's put a box over here. On this side, put a box. box up top here. Rotate it so it's a little bit different. I need to turn down my camera speed here, turn the heck down. Get it down a bit. You know what? I'm not doing this in the prefab mode while into the prefab. There we go. Um, the two camera strat shows the weapon shadow. What? Yeah, but does the shadows from the environment cast on to the weapon? I am using IL2CPP. Yep. not that hard to do ILC 2PP you just pretty much just check a box and it does it the build times are just way longer and it doesn't fully prevent cheating the only way to fully prevent cheating is to not do stuff client side which uh, the majority of the logic is server side movement and server side shooting is server side so you can't cheat that way yeah I also don't want to say what's all server side and what's not because you want to keep that hush hush so people have to go don't have don't know right okay it's gonna add a little bit more cover there let's just duplicate this Oop. move it all the way over here you know when you're thinking of a shooter game uh, you gotta also uh, even though it's not realistic um, you gotta think more gameplay as well because like normally you would not have boxes right there on the edge but i'm thinking gameplay here this is good this is gonna keep spawn shooting from happening as easy right because the big thing was people would sit right here and just shoot people coming around this corner but now i think you should be able to like edge this uh let me make this bigger you're still kind of open, but you, I think you'll be able to get around this corner a little bit. Mm, maybe not. I don't know if you can make it around that corner. Definitely if they sit over here, but over here they're really open. They won't be able to sit. They won't be able to sit here, which is a very common spot, and shoot you, I think. Uh, this side has some barrels. Let's put them right behind the staircase on this side. How about? Let's put some boxes right behind the staircase. Now you definitely can't shoot from behind the staircase. Uh, chat. Uh, anti-cheat. It already is kind of anti-cheat uh, because of all the logic server side. But yeah, maybe. It would be better to make gun recoil on every bullet shot and rather than a smooth path up. Um, are you asking like what am, what am I doing right now? It is every bullet shot. Every bullet shot it moves up. It doesn't follow a path like uh, what games do that CSGO. Discuss uh, about the gun clipping. 
You know, I could just say that's a feature. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, that's good. I think those boxes will add some more cover to hide behind when walking. The next place is down here. We need some more cover in these hallways. Big time. Yeah, these hallways are definitely way too open. We're gonna add, have to add some barrels and some boxes in these hallways, maybe even widen them. I'll probably do that off camera though. Let's think, we got 30 minutes here, or so I think I wanna stream for it. Let's texture something. Let's texture good old Herbert. That's what we call them, right? No, Herb, we call them Herb. That's a short form for his name. Let's texture Herb, the forklift here. Yeah. I think that'll be a good thing to do for the next 30 minutes or so. I think barrels would make sense in the basement area. Yeah, definitely. There's already some barrels down here, but I think they'd make, they, they'd be okay to put in these hallways to add some more cover. Explosive barrels. There's definitely lots of barrels down here already, but I need to put some stuff in these hallways as cover. Because if you're mid down this hallway, and you start getting shot at, you, you're basically dead. If somebody's here, you're dead because they have cover, you don't. Yeah. I also gotta think about this engine room here because I noticed a lot of people are getting stuck on these railings. Because you have to control, I guess that's just also skill. You have to like crouch jump over the railings or else you can't fit between the ceiling and the railings. So, anyways, let's, let's, uh, let's texture Herb. Let's do it. This is Herb, everybody. The forklift here. Let's make a texture for him. Tools. Click to color. Create new texture. Texture name, Herb. Herb. Texture. That's the forklift's name, by the way. It's Herb. Herb. Uh, let's make it a four by four. Let's make it a 256 size. Let's set the save location to assets on the game server. Game client, assets, uh, textures, textures, ship map. And yeah, select folder, create. Interesting, says head pats. What's interesting? Are those hallways and rooms created with ProBuilder, or is it all part of your Blender model from Blender or so? We're about to go look at it, but it is all Blender. ProBuilder is cool and all. Uh, I actually made the lobby scene with ProBuilder, and I'm just not good with ProBuilder. Uh, I don't know why, I just, it's just missing little things like editing individual vertices, deleting vertices and stuff. I don't, I don't like it, but let's open the, not valley map, the ship map. And you can see, here it is in Blender. Let's get rid of this texture here, it's way too big. Here's the ship in Blender. It's all made in Blender, everything. This is the ship hull, let's turn that off. The tower here, let's turn that off. The helipad, turn off the helipad. And yeah, you can see it's all done in Blender here. Um, yeah, pretty cool, huh? You can see engine room, back. wait, yeah, engine room here. Uh, we've got uh, the can the uh, canteen or uh, cafeteria. We've got the bunk room, and then we've got storage here. If we go inside here, you can see it's empty here because the props are placed in Unity, and you can see also these rooms are empty here, right? This is the canteen room. Back there is the bunk room, and then over here is the engine room. Whoa, the engine room is more placed in Blender. Holy cow! Sorry, am I making you dizzy? I'm just trying to look inside. There we go. Engine room here. It's kind of hard to see in Blender unless if I perfectly align my vertices here. There's the engine room in Blender. And in Unity, you can see it here. The storage room. Bunk room. And the, the, the calf room. 
and then the engine room way back here. Yep. So it's all modeled in Blender. No pro builder. Now let's turn off all this stuff. Let's turn on the... Where is Herb? Tank, pallet, ship, bunk, light, forklift here. Where is he? There he is. Uh, view, how do I align view to active? There we go. Here is Mr. Herb. Forklift. Forklift lift. There we go. Coolidge. Now, let's select this stuff. Tab all and smart UV project it. Bring this texture over here. Scale her down. And let's get in the, let's open the herb texture here. Where is it? Oh, did it not save yet? It must not have saved. Textures. There it is. Uh, ship map. Ship. Whatever, just leave it here. Uh, let's bring it in here. Refresh. Herb texture. There we go. And let's see here. Let's get him a new texture here. Let's get him new. Let's call it uh, Herb. Assign it all to be Herb. Get rid of this guy. No. Get rid of this guy. Herb. Herb. Get rid of this guy. Now let's go to the shader editor, add an image texture here. Uh, let's get forklift. Wait, I think I got the wrong one here. Herb texture, there we go. And now we can see, obviously it's just random textures or random colors, but I can move it around and he changes color, right? Obviously it's just random colors right now, but but now, let's actually get a proper color palette going here. Add a jetpack. Maybe for the space map, some type of jetpack. Add a minigun. <laughs> you guys are all about add this, add that. Put it in the suggestions uh, channel on my Discord. I, I look at it, and if I like the idea, I write it down. Lots of people join the Discord server. Welcome if you're in the stream if you, and you join the Discord server. Uh, okay, stop looking at Discord. Let's find the, let's see if we can find, can we find the image of Herb that I, that I used, I wonder? Forklift. Oof, this is an Amazon link. No, I do not want to buy a knife. Um, yeah, so we want, what color do we want Herb? Do you want him orange? Herb sounds like an orange forklift to me. Delete my game. That would be bad. Herb sounds like an orange, an orange, uh, forklift to me. What color do you think Herb should be? Yellow or orange? Uh, I'm rolling towards orange, though. Why is this an incognito tab? New tab. No, not new tab. New window. Because I want my, where's my click to color plugin? Here we go. This is an awesome plugin. So I just want, I want, you know what? You want this orange color. Copy it. Tools, click to color. And I want this color here. Go. Uh, what are you guys saying? Hot pink? <laughs> This guy, this pink here, <laughs> orange for sure, says Riley. Yeah, let's go orange. Uh, whenever you stream, a lot of people join the server. Yeah, I know, it's good. It's good, I advertise my server. Join the Discord server. Come hang out. Make Herb purple. <laughs> no, Herb, Herb does not deserve to be purple. Hot purple. 
I think people would be looking at Herb instead of the other players. Uh, do you have a public Trello board or something to show what you're working on in the background? Yeah, I do. Uh, the link is the link on my Discord server. One sec. Um, might be my FQ frequently asked questions channel. FAQ channel. It's not. Oh, I thought I had it in here. Okay, I'll go get the Trello link for you. Um, and I also should put it in my Discord server then. Thought I had it in my Discord server. I guess not. I'm also trying to. I'm working on a, a, a roadmap web page as well to kind of talk about what my plan is with the game. I'm not really sure what the plan is 100% yet. Does this link work? I wonder. How do I share a Trello board? Does just a link like at the top work for sharing a Trello board if it's public? I think so. Let's put it in the chat. See if it works. There's the Trello link. Tell me if it works. What kind of multiplayer game is this? It is a action shooter game. It's gonna have lots of game modes though, so it'll be like parkour, racing game modes. I don't know, hide and seek, like tons of game modes, not just shooting. Hopefully. Right now it's just shooting though, for the most part. We're adding knives, so maybe now we can have a melee game mode. What engine are you using? Uh, Unity. It says right there, Unity. Uh, do, do, do. Did you actually have a pretty clear idea on what you wanted to make? Or was it more like an FPS game would be pretty cool and we'll see along the road how it turns out? Well, originally it was just, let's remake my previous multiplayer game, but you know, new and improved. And now it's to the state where it's surpassed my previous multiplayer game. So now it's like, okay, what, what, what can we do with this? And I kind of have a plan of what I want to do. If you look at the Trello board, you can see a bunch of upcoming things that I want to add. Works, the link works, cool. But I basically want to make a multiplayer game that's going to have a bunch of game modes and team sizes and yeah, not just shooting. Uh, tools, click to color. We got distracted there. I just closed what I was working on. Okay, so we got orange, no hot pink. We got orange. Uh, let's go back here. We've got we gotta get this black here. Get this guy, this grayish black here. Have a bluish black. Make it a little bit more. There we go. And let's go back here. Seat. What else we got here? Toyota. A lot of black and a lot of orange. It's mostly just black, gray, and orange. Let's get this this one right here. Actually, this is like the a little bit different gray. Although, do we even have one of those tanks on our thing? I don't think I did. But why? No, I never put one of those. I'll still put it in here on the pallet, just in case we want to use it for something. Let me just make the rest of these all black and white so we don't get confused here. Uh, black is zero, 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 right? Black zero. Yeah, black zero. It should be black. White, F, 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 F. Oop. Uh, F, 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 F. Sorry, this is boring, but uh, it bugs me with all the multi colors. I just want a nice checker pattern. I kind of wish the asset had a mode for just a checker pattern instead of random colors when you start. Again, I might go modify the code to do get that since I gotta try and figure out this bug with the color picker anyways. Basically what happens is if I drag around the color picker, Unity crashes. That's the bug with the asset, which is pretty annoying because I basically can't use the color picker. But 
I still like the asset because it automatically generates these texture palettes instead of having to use something like GIMP. Now let's go in Blender and let's just refresh this texture here. Keep an image, there we go. Here we go now. So let's get select in here. Get the image, so look, all this stuff's orange and all around the butt is all orange, okay. So let's get this going here. Why am I not centered on it? Here we go. Let's make this smaller, kind of big. Why is my thing not rotating around the center? That's annoying. View, align view, lock view to active. Okay, it's it's rotating correctly now. Uh, let's get all this stuff. Just get it quicker with C. Get all the stuff on his butt here. Okay. Right around here. And let's see here. Is it? No, it's good. Goes black in there, okay. So all this here can go to the orange. Oh, herb looking good. Let's get all these letters here. Oh crap, I forgot that like these letters are screwed the heck up. View, align view. Get our view to cursor. Why is it not working? View. Enter view to cursor. Oh, it's not working. I don't know why. Oh, there. I had to view lock clear. There we go. Uh, these uh, letter model things are definitely not very good. Anyways, let's move them down to like a gray herb. Oop, crap. This, this, this. This, this, this. We have everything. Nope, oh, still need this. Now we got everything. A lot of this other stuff here is actually not, we don't want it to actually be uh, gray. We probably want to actually have it in here. I wonder what we want gray, maybe this? Pretty fancy. Let's get another. Let's get another shade of this gray. He uses kind of like a shadow kind of offset here. So let's take this one here. Move it down one here. But then make it a little bit lighter. Whoa, a little bit too much. There we go. So it's pretty much the same, just a little bit lighter. And let's just refresh that. Open. There we go. So then we can use it for. I don't know, let's look here. Like maybe this area will have. Is this a different model? Yeah, this one will have it a little bit lighter gray. It's barely noticeable, holy. It's really not noticeable, is it? But then also, I think. That'll be good, yeah. Uh, what about this guy? We'll put this in its own square as well. And we'll put the steering wheel on its own square. Because what you'll be able to do now is you'll be able to just swap the texture if I want to change the color of the... any parts of the... Um, forklift, any parts of Herb. Put all these in their own section as well. There we go. 
go. Put them up here. When's the next play test? Um, probably sometime sometime in May. We need to test the client side prediction, but it's also not really working 100% yet, so yeah. Also, shoot recognition is like really bad right now. So I need to do a like server rollback for shooting, which is a big thing to do. Select the rubber of the tire here. We got this one can still be used and this one. <laughs> Some racy uh, treads there. I like. all selected. I'm going to put these on a different one as well. Okay, let's put these on their own as well. G, put them down on their own. So this one's on its own, this is on its own. Let's see here. Uh, there's still two more things we could use if we wanted to, but I think this is pretty good. What's this? Here, this is up there. Let's also do here we go, this is what we can do. We can do the bottom like part uh, its own. That'd be good. Put this in its own color. All the interior here can all be in its own color. Oops. Oop. Oop. There we go. And this little bumper brim here as well, I think. Yeah, we'll put this all in the bottom right. There we go. Have I played Apex Legends? Yeah, I did. Put when it was like first out, I played it my friends in high school. What is this? Forklift. Oh, oh, I see. That's the... Okay, so I need to do this and this. And... Okay, wait. So I'm just trying to figure out how to export here. File, export... FBX. Selected. Transform. Let's see here. Let's go to the ship map. And forklift export. Ooh, he's ugly. He's going to look ugly because the lighting's all messed up. But we should be able to now make a material for him. Maps. Map. Oh, these are models. Here he is, though. Materials. He has no material right now because we need to go to materials, ship map. Let's duplicate the ship one. Herb. Then we need to go back to his model here. And we need to 
drag in. There we go. Apply. And we can change this to herb texture. Why did it not change? Herb. There we go. Now we just gotta fix all the colors. Uh, apply all. Where's baby herb? Forklift. Okay, your bucks to a secret, guys. Ready? Don't tell anybody. Hey Zippy, hey L L eleven game dev. Don't tell anybody that baby herb's over here. Let's just fix his material as well. There we go. You guys saw nothing. Okay. Let's get this guy's materials looking good now. So tools, quick color. Uh, herb texture. Okay. So what color is this? That is the kind of steering wheel area. Let's just make it this color. Now it's going to look artifacty because uh, the lighting needs baked in order for it to look good down here. So we can actually just do this. can unstatic him I think and I think that'll make it so he's not baked to lighting at least while we're uh, texturing him here we can see him in real-time lighting okay let's see what is this here red that's the steering wheel let's make the steering wheel kind of a black steering wheels are usually black right what's this is nothing I guess. It says nothing. Let's just make this pure white. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait, that's the steering wheel right there. There's a steering wheel. It's a gray. Where's the seat? Which one's the seat? Is this the seat? That's the seat. Let's make it just a dark, kind of a brownie, a little bit more brown of a gray. There we go. Let's fix this. Let's not make it white. Uh, I'm guessing that is this guy here. No, those are the rims. Let's make the rims a nice kind of grayish. Okay. These are the tires then? Yeah, those are the tires. Make them a nice rubbery black. Thought I froze it there for a second. Let's save. Save it. In case I accidentally freeze it. Color. Hi from Turkey. What's up? Welcome. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why is it only C3 wide now? That's not good. Oh no. Why is it only seeing three colors? What is going on? Why is it only seeing a uh, three by four? That is weird. See, this asset is not perfect. It's really nice, but not perfect. It's only seeing three colors. That is annoying. Why is it doing that? Should you make that forklist or download it? We made it a few streams back, I think. Yeah, Herb is made by me. No pulley forklift. Well, this is rather annoying.
Oh. Gonna make it see it now. Now it does. So that's an issue. Sometimes when you have two of the same colors beside each other, it freaks out. Doesn't work. Hey, which one of these bloody top things? Oh, that's that. That can be gray. What's this? Is the forks? Oh, the forks need it as well. Uh, materials, ship map, oh, not materials, ship map, herb, fork needed as well. Is this the fork? What is this? Yeah, it's the fork. Make them like a gray. This must be, no, that's the back of the fork. Let's make them just a dark gray. This here must be, yeah, this is the top part. Let's make that a gray. All objects in the ship map were made by you. Yeah, everything you see is made by me. I'm not using any any model like assets. There's the top. Let's just go the same color as this. Pick up this maybe. Yeah, there we go. Looking good, Herb. Looking good. What's this down here? This is the bottom, right? Well, the bottom's looking like trash. Make the bottom just a nice dark, dark color. Looking good, Herb. Cool. Obviously, there's a little bit of artifacting like this because uh, the lighting needs baked, which I can't do on stream because it lags the heck out of the stream. But it's looking pretty good. Got the seat, steering wheel. Yep, I think that's good. Well textured. Might tweak it in the future, but this is pretty good for now, I think. Let's just put them down. I'm interested here. Is the texture going to break again? Just see here. This goes. Uh, ship. Oh, no, ship. Ship map. Is it going to break again? It is. That's annoying. Coming in is 3x4 instead of 4x4, four four, which is weird. Anyways, let's move her back down into the cargo bay here. I'll put a screenshot of him on my Discord server with the baked lighting. He'll look a lot better with the baked lighting. So this artifacting goes away. But there he is. Let's go uh, fix Baby Herb as well. Because they need texture on their little color, on their little palette here, picker upper. Forks, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, materials. Ship map. Herb. There we go. Don't tell anybody about the baby herb Easter egg right here. In the locker. There we go. Okay, there's one model of many <laughs> textured. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Does the. Is it 256 by 256 pixels? Yeah, it is. Does it matter performance-wise? Uh, well, it'll be less storage the smaller it is, and it could theoretically be uh, four pixels by four pixels, but it's kind of then annoying to look at in the inspector because it'll be like itty bitty. And with storage sizes nowadays, I mean, 256 images not that much. But uh, what it, where it does help performance-wise is that the fact that this only uses one material instead of was that 16 colors? So that would have been like 16 materials type type of thing, right? Um, instead, it just uses one. So yeah, there's Herb. I think that's uh, that's that's all we'll do for today. Uh, I just wanted to keep it a two-hour stream. We're approaching. We're at the two-hour mark, like right now. Um, so yeah. What did we do today? We did the knife, and we did Herb. That's good. About an hour each. Oh, and we also showed off the colliders and placed some props. 
yeah. Let's jump into the game here and just show off the lobby to anybody that missed at the beginning of the stream. Uh, save. Do you actually need to rebake those lights after texturing? Uh, yeah, because the uh, lighting gets baked on on top of the texture, right? So it needs to know the lighting. I'm just, you just got here and you're ending the stream? Yeah, I am actually, sorry. We'll, we'll do a little bit of walkthrough of what we did though. Um, and you can watch the replay. YouTube's awesome and it saves the whole replay of the stream. So if you want to check it out, obviously you can't talk with me, but. I usually stream, not every week, but if I do stream, I usually stream on Saturday starting at 2 p.m. EST. Um, Let's start the server. It's been two hours. Yeah, it has. Two hours, six minutes. Make the ship destroy itself when the game ends. Can you go on top of the crates? Yep, we can do it. Here we go, we're in the game. We just think of these leaf particles also. They look pretty cool, I think. Anyways, this is the lobby, if you missed it. The lobby's nice and big now. You can, you can vote on the map here in the lobby and the game mode. And if just put it in auto start. Let's see, okay, I wanna do the ship map and I wanna do team death match. Also look, there's vines in the lobby I'm working on. I'm just testing. Yeah, let's go check out the ship map. Just parkour while we're waiting. Oh, I missed, dang it. Huh. 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 There we go. We're up here now. What? Put us in the game. Red team. I am forever sealed in your stream history. Yes, you are. Yeah, here we go. We're on the ship map. Got this slope actually working now. Aside from my script not recognize it because I put it ignore ray cast. Got boxes. Oh. Right, right, right. The colliders aren't server side. That's why it's freaking out when I touch them and going through them. Need to I need to make the collider server side as well. Got the barrels here. Ooh, I gotta move that ammo thing. It's right in the barrels. Um actually let's test out this line of sight right here. Slash give two also, what, what's the time? Yeah, we need more than a minute here. Let me just hack the time here. Uh, game mode, let's give us like 1,000 seconds. Oh, 10,000 seconds. Yeah, that's definitely enough time. Yeah, you can still, okay, you can still snipe here. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to mess with that because you can still get a pretty good line of sight. Um, okay. Let's go look at Herb. He won't look too good because of the lighting, but let's go look at Herb. Uh, which way is he? This way. <laughs> I don't even know my own map. Um, one sec. I like the particles around the health and pick up. Yeah, there's Herb. He's looking good. Gotta bake him in the lighting. Yeah. Coolidge. Yippers. Those stairs need a glider too, and these ones too. Ugh, I can't get up them. Oh yeah, and people, I don't know if they're still here, but there's definitely recoil, look. There's lots of recoil. Anyways, let's fly here. Ship map's looking good here. Fishies. I just found a bug. With sensitivity. Anyways, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Is Herb the only textured thing inside the ship? Uh, yeah, other than the barrels. <laughs> Takes a long time to texture. How'd you make the stair colliders? I just put a ramp. Replay, or re uh, roll back the stream like an hour. I just put a, a, a box collider. 
So uh, it's a single one on each step for like shooting collision because you want to be able to shoot through the little stairs, right? But uh, it's a ramp for walking up and down, but the ramp uh, is ignored by the shooting ray cast, right? Yep. Um, keep getting distracted though. Yeah, I have 10K subscribers. Thank you everybody for subscribing. It's awesome. Mostly due to the fact that my one video kind of went viral, but yeah. JJJ, what's up? We are ending the stream. That's what's up. So if you just joined, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go over to this bad boy here. Green chat. So thank you guys for watching. Join the stream, talking with me. I'll probably be streaming on Saturdays, not every weekend, but make sure to join the Discord server if you want to be notified when I'm streaming. And you join too. Yep. Go watch the replay if you want to. Otherwise, I usually start at 2 p.m. EST on Saturdays. Not every weekend, but some weekends. But yeah, anyways, guys, I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining. Zippy is out. See you later, guys.